Hey everybody, it's Flying Ryan here, and thanks for tuning in to today's review, which is of the Sima X5C. Uh, this is basically an aerial video quadcopter. It comes with a camera. Uh, there is a version available without the camera, though. Uh, and you can tell it kind of has the, you know, the DJI Phantom look to it, especially with the prop guards. Uh, so pretty cool look. It's a, a good sort of a practice aerial quadcopter. If you're looking to move up to the bigger ones, it would be a good idea to start with something like this. Uh, it's got LEDs on it, nice uh, tall clear landing gear so the camera doesn't get hit on the ground. Uh, prop guards are pretty substantial. They work well. Uh, they screw into the uh, the frame here, and then it's got um, two just uh, friction fit. They just plug in on each side, so three connection points. So it's nice and sturdy and uh, works well. It comes with a 500 milliamp hour battery, which takes about an hour and 45 minutes to charge. Uh, but you get about six and a half minute flights with um, everything attached. You get about nine minute flights if you remove the prop guards, the camera, and the landing gear. Uh, and it also flies much better with all those things removed. Uh, so it's kind of two quads in one. You can have an aerial video quad like this, or you can remove all that stuff where it's just the, you know, this, this sort of the center... X part without all these extra stuff and it flies much more sporty it's quicker it's more stable and it has really good six axis so you can uh, zip around really nice with it uh, the battery plugs into this hatch here the camera kind of slides back and then you've got a hatch where you can you can plug the battery in and you can actually plug it in and then leave it plugged in and there's an on off switch so you close up your hatch there and it's nice and concealed and then you've got an on off switch and then you can see the the lights turn on and go ahead and it should be bound so you can hear there sometimes my props click against the prop guards a little bit so you kind of have to mess with them and sort of bend them try to get them out of the way but um, not too big of a deal and then it comes with a bunch of stuff. So first, the the camera comes with a two gigabyte memory card. It comes with a USB card reader, a USB battery charger, a spare set of props, and a screwdriver to uh, install the props. And then you can also um, install the prop guards with that screwdriver. Um, you can recalibrate it by putting um, both sticks to the bottom right corner. Oops, looks like I gave throttle there. I think, let's see if we can get some LEDs to show up. Okay, so both down to the bottom right, and it should... Why is it not doing it? There it goes. So now you can see the LEDs blinking. Alright, so that recalibrated the accelerometer. And then you've got two rates which is indicated by an H and an L on the display and then also by two beeps for high rates. Uh, when you've got the camera attached, the right button is your, if you just click it once, it takes a picture, which I think, let's see if we can see that. You can kind of see there's a green light on the camera now. If I click it once, it turns red, it's taking a picture. If I press and hold it, now it stays red and then kind of blinks red. Now it's filming. And then I can press it again to stop filming. Um, if You can't do flips with the camera attached, but if you remove the camera, which just unplugs right here, and then you can actually kind of, let me go ahead and turn it off. Um, you can remove this entire camera door if you want. There, It just kind of pegs into the front here and you can sort of bend it and squeeze it and pull that whole door off. Uh, so when the camera is unplugged, now the right button becomes a flip button. You press the button, press whichever direction you want to flip, and it does flips. Uh, so I wouldn't suggest doing the flips with the prop guards and legs and all that because it's going to get a little wobbly. Uh, but if you remove those and trim it down to where it's, you know, it's, its lightest possible form, uh, the flips are actually quite nice. It, it flips really well, uh, flies really well. 
Uh, you just have to get rid of all this extra weight. When, when you're in this mode, this is basically for filming. You want to keep it slow and steady and focus more on filming than uh, fancy flying. It gets a little unstable and wobbly uh, in this form. And it's really light. I mean, it's surprisingly light. It's kind of shockingly light when you first pick it up. It doesn't seem like it could possibly be as light as it is. Uh, with the battery installed and everything together, it's slightly over 100 grams. So pretty light. And then uh, because of this kind of bulky body and the light weight, it tends to get thrown around by the wind a little bit. Uh, especially with all the extra stuff on it if in its trimmed down form with all out without all the extra stuff it can fight the wind decently uh, but not the best quad in the wind uh, let's see what else do I have to say about it uh, oh the uh, the camera angle is a little bit low as you can see it kind of angles down quite a bit uh, so when you're a distance away from something, you've got to be quite a bit above it in order for the camera angle to get what you want it to film. Uh, so I wish that you could either manually change the angle or it was just a little bit less. I kind of like it when it points forward more so you know you're filming pretty much about even with the front of the quad. Uh, but this, you've got to be quite a bit above what you're trying to film. Um, also, the LVC warning, for me, was almost non-existent. I, I, I think I did get it to blink the LEDs uh, to show the LVC warning, like, well after the battery was too weak to even keep it hovering. Uh, so you'll, you'll notice the quad getting weak and having a hard time, you know, correcting and doing your inputs... Uh, to indicate that the battery is weak well before the actual LVC warning comes on and the LEDs start to blink. Uh, so you just kind of have to be aware of your flight times, especially if you're up high and filming. Uh, you don't really get a ton of warning that your battery is about to die. Uh, and the video quality, they, they say it's an HD cam, but I don't, I don't know. It's, it's, not, it's not super high quality video. Uh, definitely, you know, amateur, uh, just having fun kind of filming. You're not going to, like, film a wedding with this thing or anything. Uh, I think this is, you know, meant to kind of practice with, uh, get a feel for aerial video, and then move up to something like the Phantom, uh, you know, which would also explain the kind of look of it. Just kind of really gets you familiar with flying that kind of a quad. All right, well, that's about all I have to say about it. So I'll, I'll do a little quick indoor hover just to kind of show uh, the stability that it can have on a perfectly calm conditions. And then we'll take it outside and fly it trimmed down without all the stuff on it. And then fly it again with, with all the stuff on it and do some video. All right, let's go check that out. All right, this is the flight review of the Sima X5C. Uh, we'll start with a little indoor stability hover test. Uh, just kind of see how stable it is inside with no wind. Uh, maybe turn off the lights and see what the LEDs look like. So, let get trimmed out for a second. Alright, there we go. That's hands off. So, pretty stable. There's full pirouettes. I can actually kind of fly it around indoors a little bit. It is stable and precise enough to kind of do some, you know, slow little circuits inside. Let's uh, see how these prop guards work if I bump into the dryer over here. Well, not, not bad. Yaw rate stays the same on high and low rates. <laughs> Tried doing a little high rate funnel there inside. Alright, let's turn off the lights and see what these LEDs look like. 
So can't really see him from above too well. But from below and sides they show up pretty well. Not bad. This thing really is surprisingly stable. I mean the fact that I can fly it around this little room this well speaks a lot for it. Alright, let's see if I can squeeze it in for a landing. Not bad. Alright, that's the indoor flight and little stability test of the Slime X5C. Now let's uh, take all these extra bits and pieces off of it and take it outside and see what it can really do. Alright, see you there. Alright, this is the flight review of the Sima X5C. I'm going to start out with all the uh, extras removed so I can show you how it flies without the extra weight and whatnot. Show you how it flips. Uh, put it on high rates. A little bit of a breeze out today, so we'll see how it handles the wind. It, it flies really nice and smooth. It's just so light and the, the body kind of catches wind, so it's, it's not great in the wind, but looks like it's doing pretty well so far. Let's uh, try some flips. Is that a diagonal flip? Or is that just the wind? I think that was just the wind. So not bad with the flips. That's full speed ahead right there into the wind. Now towards me, we got a little squirrely. But you know, this isn't meant to be a sport quad. It's a it's an aerial video platform, but if you remove all the stuff, it it does fly pretty well. So kind of have a bunch of different options of how you want to fly this one. Funnels. Pretty nice flips, actually. It's definitely getting pushed around by the wind, but it's not too bad, actually. Alright, I think that's a good sample of how she flies with everything removed. Take her down for a landing. Alright, now I'll put the prop guards on, the landing gear, and the camera and everything and show you how it flies like that. Alright, I'll be back in just a second. Alright, now I got the Sima X5C with all the bells and whistles attached. Got the prop guards and the landing gear and the camera on. So I'll show you how she flies with all the extra stuff. Do some uh, video sample. Let's uh, give her a shot. So it takes a lot more throttle to get it up with the uh, prop guards on and it can get a little bit wobbly with the extra weight and definitely not as good with the wind. Put it on high rates. Alright, so now I press and hold the right button to start video. So let's start the video up. Alright, should be taking a video now. And the camera angle is pretty low. It points down quite a bit. So you've got to be a decent way over what you're trying to film. And it's definitely not the best video quality. Whoa. It's a little bit windy out today, so it's going to be not too stable for videoing. I'm afraid to get it up too high because of the wind. See what I can do. Yeah, the wind's messing with it. Oh man. Oh, come on, that's full throttle. <laughs> Didn't want to recover from that. I think I should be good. You know, so I don't know if you could hear it, but my props touch the prop guards a little bit. Sometimes they kind of nick the prop guards just a tad. I think 
hopefully the video is going. I can't see the light blinking. Let's try to get a droney. If I can get it stable enough. Man, the wind is really, really throwing it around. And it's not that windy out. I mean, maybe eight or ten. Wow. See, the wind just threw it out of the sky there. I also may be getting a little bit low on battery since I did the uh, flight without the stuff on it on the same charge. And it doesn't give you much warning. LVC usually comes after you've lost power to keep flying. So you kind of have to just pay attention to when it can't really respond right and know that the battery is getting weak. See, I got a pretty decent breeze now. All right, let's stop the video. So I think that's a, a good flight demo, bring it in for a landing. It's definitely more of a, uh, man, definitely more of a calm day flyer. It does not like, does not like the wind, especially with all the uh, extra weight on it. Uh, but you know, it can fly really nice in the right conditions. So. Not a bad quad at all. I, I like it. It's nice and stable. Lots of uh, different options and features and different ways you can fly it and use it. So, pretty cool. Alright, well that's the Sima X5C. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you aren't already and I'll see you next time.